about to take off I'm about to lay the ground Find a fit and ready to bounce My soul is guided Baby, I'm not lightning You can see I'm ready to strike like I'm Damn, didn't that sound so good? Welcome back to yet another episode. This is your boy Popsy from Future Shock Studios. Today we're going to be talking about this large diaphragm condenser XLR microphone by Godox. It's the XMic 100GL and we're talking on it right now. With that being said, let's go and roll the intro. Welcome back. If you're new here, do consider subscribing. I bring you news about audio gear and reviews each and every Monday. Just before we dive straight into the video, don't forget to check the timestamps out to help you navigate throughout the video. All the audio in this video will be recorded on the Godox XMic 100GL. In terms of the setup, I've got the XMic going straight into the Apollo Twin X, which is going into the MacBook Pro. And as always, I'm recording in Logic Pro X. The gain on Apollo's console is set at 31 decibels and I am recording in 24-bit 48 kilohertz. You are listening to the raw and unprocessed audio coming from the mic. There will be no EQ compression or any type of noise reduction applied to this voice. But I may need to boost the audio in post, so do keep a check out down below for all the information that are right there. So with that all being said, let's go and do the unboxing. So as you can see that everything comes in this well packaged white box. So let me just quickly take everything out of the box and display on the table. As you can see, you get the XMic 100GL microphone. It is a XLR cardioid condenser microphone. You also get a metal shock mount. You get a pop filter and you get this provided XLR cable with the cable tie. And finally, you'll find this instruction manual. So at the time of filming this video, the XMic 100GL will set you back around the $100 mark. With that being said, let's go and check out the build quality and the accessories that came with the microphone. So as far as the build quality goes, this mic feels excellent and appears to be made of a, a robust metal. So the mic comes with a all metal housing. And as you can see, it's got this matte gray finish. It also has an all metal body as well as a metal mesh grill at the top. As you can see, this is a side address microphone. So you do address it from this side, not this side. Besides the all metal coating, the microphone head provides a 24 karat plated transducer case in order to protect the capsule from corrosion and humidity. The microphone does feel lightweight and rugged at the same time. The mic itself is designed to be coated in this precision metal construction, which makes it lightweight and durable. And on the bottom of the microphone is where you'll find the XLR port to give you some professional quality sound. As already shown, the microphone does come with a provided shock mount. It is of decent quality. It's partly metal and plastic that will reduce any unwanted vibrations or rumbles that may come from your room. And included with the whole microphone set, you're going to find a removable metal pop shield, which which performs effectively at redirecting the vocalist plosives away from the microphone. Another great addition is you get these two screws at the bottom of the pop shield going to the shock mount, which will make it a bit more sturdier for you. And finally, the provided XLR cable. It's of a really, really good quality. For those that don't have an XLR cable, you are going to save some extra money because they provide you with a very high quality XLR cable that comes with the whole kit. Okay, people, now that we've seen the build quality and some of the accessories that came with the microphone, let's go and talk about the boring stuff the tech spec so this is the Godox XMic 100GL. It's a condenser microphone and it comes with a XLR output port. You get a gilded diaphragm. The directivity is a cardioid. The frequency range is 50 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz. The output impedance is 100 ohms. The max sound pressure level is 132 decibels. The maximum output level is 8 decibels. Sensitivity is minus 36 dB. Signal to noise ratio is 75 decibels and you will require 48 volts of phantom power to run the microphone. The diameter is 51 millimeters. The length is 184 millimeters. And the weight of the microphone is 323 grams. And the weight of the microphone bracket and pop filter is 507 grams. Okay, that's the specs out of the way. Let me go and show you a plosive test with and without the pop shield. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Let's go and do a proximity test with the provided windshield. 
This is a proximity test with the provided pop filter. This is a proximity test with the provided pop filter. This is a proximity test on the XMic 100GL. This is a proximity test on the XMic 100GL. So let's go and do a off-axis rejection test with the microphone. This is a off-axis rejection test on the XMic 100GL and I'm speaking directly in front of the microphone. This is a off-axis rejection test on the XMic 100GL and I'm speaking 90 degrees on the left-hand side of the microphone and this is what the audio sounds like. This is a off-axis rejection test on the XMic 100GL. I'm speaking 90 degrees right of the microphone and this is what the audio sounds like. This is a off-axis rejection test on the XMic 100GL and now I'm speaking on the rear of the mic and this is what the the audio sounds like. This is a off-axis rejection test on the XMic 100GL and I'm speaking back in its normal position right the front and this is what the audio sounds like. Okay the next test is between the Canon mic that I'm recording on and the XMic 100GL. So now you're listening to the mic from my Canon camera and this is what the audio sounds like. Now you're listening to the audio from my Canon camera and this is what the audio sounds like coming from the mic on the Canon camera. This is the audio coming from the Godox XMic 100GL. This is an audio test on the XMic 100GL and this is what the audio sounds like in comparison to the Canon camera. Okay, I've brought my good friend Rach in to do some vocal testing on the XMic 100GL, so take it away, Rach. There's a fire starting in my heart Reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark Finally I can see you crystal clear Go ahead and sell me out and I lay your shit bare There's a fire starting in my heart Reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark Finally I can see you crystal clear Go ahead and sell me out and I lay your shit bare And see how I leave with an every piece of you don't underestimate the things that I would do. Okay, that's the vocal test. Let me go and show you what this mic would sound like recording a guitarist and a vocalist in one go. So this got it, baby, I'm not lightning. You can see I'm ready to strike like I'm fierce, like I'm fierce, like I'm. Fears like I'm ah, ah, There's a hunger that I feel inside Deep in the moment that there's someone there, someone there Deep fast laying down in front I'm scared despair From scared despair I'm I'm about to take off, I'm about to leave the ground Find if feet, I'm ready to bounce My soul has got it, baby, I'm not lightning You can see I'm ready to strike like I'm Fierce like I'm Fierce like I'm Fierce like I'm Okay, so that completes all the tests for this microphone. Let me go and give you some of my final thoughts. So in all fairness, I think Godox have done a fantastic job with this microphone at the price point it comes in. So I've got no issues with this microphone in terms of its lows, mids and highs. You've been hearing the audio of this video entirely on this mic. You be the judge on what this microphone sounds like. Starting off with the metal shock mount, the metal pot filter, an XLR cable and a great sounding mic. I don't think you can go wrong for $120. So if you're someone that's looking for a affordable large diaphragm condenser cardioid xlr microphone look no further i will link it all in the description below if you've got any questions about this microphone or any of the other microphones that i've reviewed on this channel please leave your comments below and i will get back to you anyway peeps that's all you're going to get from me for today so hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or smash it if that's something you're into subscribe if you aren't already and i shall see you in the next video Bye.